Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Roll Down Loft. Today is Saturday, I hope you guys are doing good. I usually don't fly my birds this early, right now it's about 10.30, but on fly day I'm going to be flying at noon, so might as well fly right now to see how the birds will perform. I know earlier in the year my birds didn't do much in the morning or towards the morning uh, to like the noon area of time, but um, now as the birds are a little more mature, I think they'll probably do more. Um, a couple days ago, something killed our chickens and we were able to trap a raccoon. And we set up the trap yesterday and it looks like we tra trapped a possum. So it must've been a raccoon and possum that were killing and eating the chickens. Probably gonna call the game warden and see what I could legally do with that possum. But for now, I'm probably gonna move it Move it somewhere where it could be in the shade. This guy's got his mouth open, ready to attack. I'm not worried about these guys attacking my birds just because I know my, my loft is very secure. So I ain't worried about anything getting in there, predator wise. And it should be secure enough now where mice aren't gonna be able to get in there. I'm gonna set that guy right there for now and figure out what I am gonna do with it later. But I'm gonna let the kippers out. The only thing I hate about flying around this time is usually when I fly between like, let's say 10 a.m. to like 3 p.m. That's when the BOPs always like to show up. So that's the only thing I'm worried about is a BOP showing up, which the chances of, chances of that happening, I would say is pretty high, but uh, birds are eager to come out, so let's just go ahead and let them out. The birds have been doing really good. It seems like every day, as every day passes, they get better and better. Come on, guys. You gotta see how you guys do in the morning. Because this is gonna be very important. So I am filming with my GoPro, so I probably won't be able to get any good footage for you guys. But I'm just going to watch them for a little bit and see how they do. Seem pretty active right now for coming out in the morning. The only other issue is flying in the morning is that they might fly for a while. They're probably going to fly for like 40, 50 minutes, my guess. Which isn't a big deal for me, as long as they can fly a good height. If they can fly a good height, it's not a big deal. Yeah, but conditions are really good today. It's a little sunny, but uh, very light winds, so. Looking pretty promising. Oh, that bird just crashed in the trees. Uh, that's the nest mate to the roll down. That guy's doing like 50 plus feet. So I'm still debating if I'm gonna fly that guy for nationals or not, just because it's a little deeper than the rest of the birds. Most of my birds are 10 to 20 feet. Uh, there's a couple ones up there that might do like 30 feet, but yeah, that single grizzle Danny Courtney bird, that's the only bird that rolls that deep. I did have my black starly hen up there that used to do like 40 feet, but after the moat, it stopped rolling so deep yeah birds are pretty active so hopefully fly day they do good i just hope they don't sky out but we'll let them do their thing and i'll hop in the breeder loft and just show you guys what's going on in there I know it's a little dirty in here, so I'm probably gonna have to do some cleaning soon. It's not as bad as it looks. Because like, when people look at this, it's like, oh my God, it's poop everywhere. But it's it's mostly just uh, wood pellets. I like using the wood pellets on the ground because it keeps everything really dry, which is what you want when you, when you have your pigeons in the loft. But let me just show you these guys probably gonna be taking these guys out in a few days these are my john johnson babies still not sure what i'm doing with these guys i'm gonna probably try to fly them i have their older sibling 
uh, my yellow check, which is starting to do pretty good in the kit box. So um, I'm hoping that these guys could do the same thing too. I haven't bred a blue check self yet this year, so for sure I'm keeping this guy. John Johnson birds right here. So up here is my foster egg, and I still haven't talked to John yet, but I'm pretty sure this is from his. This is probably from his single bird fly family, which is the very good side of his family. I think this side of the family might be pure Penson with no Prona in it. I'll have to double check with him, but I'm pretty sure this is from his single bird fly family. So this was the smaller Turner baby. I decided to put it in here, and it seems like um, the pair that is taking care of these babies is actually doing a better job so I decided to just leave this baby in here uh, it's been in here for a couple days it's been fed and it hasn't been attacked so I think it should be fine in here my Danny Courtney slash John Johnson pair their babies must have just hatched either yesterday or this morning but two babies in there here's the dad this is the son to my really really good red check Danny Courtney bird that I, I gave back to our club member two to breed off of. So this one was never flown but it does have a full brother flying in the kit box which is uh, spinning really good. So I wouldn't doubt that this guy would be a good producer just because his brother is doing pretty good in the loft. Or well, not the loft but the breeder. Uh, not the breeder but the kit box. Sorry about that. Now here is my John Johnson silver dilute pair. I checked the egg this morning and one of the eggs is bad so I threw that egg out. This egg is good, it's in the process of, don't bite me, it's in the process of hatching. So most likely it's probably going to hatch by tomorrow, but I'll leave them alone. Almond pear, I don't think they're going to do anything else this year. Down here, this is the blue bar self cockbird I got back from John not too long ago and my silver check hen that I bred last year. They started making a nest, but I have no idea if they're gonna lay eggs or not. Um, if they don't, it's not a big deal. I'm pretty much done with breeding season anyways. Down here is the Turner baby that I took out. This is usually the age that I like taking them out. My birds usually leave these leaves these younger guys alone, so I'm not worried about them sitting on the ground. This guy, I will be giving this guy to my buddy. I was planning to keep both of them, but uh, my buddy is low on birds, so I'm, I'm going to be giving him this guy. He does have the full older brother of this bird. That bird ended up being a opal, dominant opal or opal spread, something like that. It was in my one of my previous videos that I posted up the photo of how um, one of the baby turners turned out like. So if you guys go back to that video, uh, you guys will be able to see how that bird turned out. And here is my John Johnson pair. And like I stated before, I don't think this guy is the father of these two, but very good looking dilutes. This is a silver bar. I really, really want to keep this guy, but uh, most likely I'm going to be selling these two. And here is his nestmate. They're pretty much ready to be banded. I probably should band them very soon before they're too big. I use eight millimeter bands, so you usually I could still be lazy and still be able to band them, but that's pretty much it. I locked up the Turner box and cleaned it. This one, I think this one never had anything in here. This belonged to one of my John Johnson pairs and I emptied that and cleaned that out. But these guys will probably be done in like a week or so. These guys probably still have maybe like a week and a half to two weeks left. Then I'll be closing those and cleaning them out. But other than that, birds are starting to look good most of them look like they're almost complete with the moat which is good oh here's these two other guys this is the guy that i'm gonna keep and that guy right there is nestmate it's gonna be the guy that i'm gonna sell both john johnson birds yeah majority of these birds are done molting i think or very close to it some of them still look kind of ugly but other than that they're healthy i've been feeding them a lot of food so been helping them grow their feathers much better i would like to mention though this is my very hot and frequent kit bird john johnson bird that i've been talking about in my previous videos that was giving me issues i decided to throw it in the breeder loft don't know if i'm gonna be flying it anymore just because it's a hot bird um here i'm gonna be selling it or 
I may give it one more shot in the kit box after resting it for like two weeks. But uh, we'll see what happens. I already have some pretty good birds in the kit box. This bird is a really good spinner too, no doubt. This guy does anywhere from 10 to 20 feet. Only thing is that it's a little on the hot side, so sometimes it can't keep up and it usually lands a little earlier than the rest of the birds. So that's gonna be an issue if you're flying competition wise. So maybe I'll give it another week and throw it back in the kit box and see if it does any better. If not, then um, it will be demoted from the kit box and I'll try to figure out what to do from there but as for now it's gonna be sitting in here but here's just a quick glance of all the birds all right time to locate kit birds i would like to mention that second yellow check bird that i bred that i said that i wasn't sure if it was going to be flying or not it is flying and kidding with the kit birds now so that's a good sign so it still has a chance to come into the row see no clue where they went see that's the only issue with me flying in the morning is that i feel like or flying early just because when i fly them early like this they have a lot of energy because they were just fed the day before like around like five or six so they kind of just if not skied out they just kind of disappear so i have no idea where they're at right now i know they usually kind of disappear if it's really windy but there's like a light wind but nothing crazy going on right now so uh i'm gonna hang out for a bit and see if the birds come back i mean they will come back just not sure how long it's gonna be this is the only issue that is gonna affect me on fly day if they do this again but i think what i'm gonna try to do next week is uh, the day before I'm gonna feed them a little less because I, I gave them a full feeding Yesterday, so that's probably why they they're so energetic. That's probably why they're gone in their own world somewhere, but uh, We're gonna see if they come back or when they come back and I'll get some quick video of that Then when they come back, we'll close out on this video. So stay tuned guys All right, so all the birds are back. Uh, they did great in the air um, very active I saw a lot of big breaks. The only issue I'm having is they're flying a little higher than I want and they're flying a little further out than I want. But other than that, watching them, I think they're they're probably gonna score me some good points. I'm hoping that they keep it up. I'm hoping I can figure out the perfect feed for them. That's the only issue that I'm having right now. Kidding wise, the birds are kidding great. There's only one issue. Um, the only issue is that yellow bird. The one that just started flying and kidding with them. That bird is kind of holding them back just because it's a little younger and it's only been flying for like a week. So I don't think it has the strength to keep up with them yet. But I think with a couple more weeks of flying, uh, that bird should be good. But that bird will be taken out when I get my 20 bird team together. That bird's coming out because that bird's not in the row yet. It's nest mate. The red check splash is coming out because that one's not in the row yet. Um, I think the three other birds I'm going to take out, it's either three or two are going to be John Johnson birds and I'm still debating on which ones it's going to be. I think I'm probably going to take out that almond bird right there. Uh, that one was bred this year. That one is flipping, but that's all it's doing. Um, it has a younger sibling, the tortoise shell grizzle. That one just started flipping too so that one's probably gonna come out i don't remember if i have 25 birds or 24 birds but those birds are coming out then i have to decide on one or two more it's between one of the red bars and one of the red checks so it's between this guy right there i'm not sure if that guy's rolling i probably have to pay more attention to that guy that guy and there is a red bar somewhere in here gotta figure out where that guy is but that guy is one of the candidates that will be taken out on fly day that guy right there not sure if he's rolling he's one of the older guys i'm pretty sure or i'm not sure if it's a cockbird hen but it's one of the older ones i believe that was either first or second round so those are the birds that i will be keeping my eyes on and figure out which ones are which ones are those are the ones that are coming out for sure 
But I know for sure there's two birds that are coming out that I've already uh, made my decision on those, but there's still three, four other birds that I gotta look through and figure out which ones out of those are the ones that I'm really gonna take out. But yeah, birds are looking good. Hopefully they keep it up for fly day. Excited for fly day. Uh, have about maybe like two, two and a half weeks left before I get to fly. So hopefully these guys do a good job. Hopefully I can score something. As long as I don't get a DQ or a zero, I'll be happy. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, go ahead and click that like button. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. Thanks for all support, everyone. And thanks for watching. And I'll check you guys out next time.